If I had only felt the warmth within your touch If I had only seen how you smile when you blush Or how you curl your lip when you concentrate enough well, I would have known what I was living They wanted to be married in a public celebratory way with their friends and family members present. They wanted to celebrate with you, to honor this precious covenant. Let us pray together. Holy God, thank you for Gwen and Michaela. Thank you for their commitment and love to one another and we thank you for the gift of a wedding celebrated we pray all of this in the name of your holiness Amen. and Gwen understanding that holy force has created order and blessed the covenant of marriage to you affirm your desire and intention to enter into this covenant with one another. If so, we have to say we do. Friends and family members, all of you gathered here today, you have known these two women, many of you, their whole lives long. Do you give your blessing to Gwen and Michaela? Do you promise to do everything prayerfully and joyfully in your power to uphold them, support them, and celebrate them in their marriage? If so, answer, we do. Amen. I will follow you. Whether thou goest, I will go. Whether thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die also, and there will I stay with you. May the Lord do thus and so to me, and more as well, if even death parts from me. Do not press me to leave you. I will follow you you. So friends, having known these two women, I can tell you that they are the real deal, that their commitment to one another is sure, and it is holy. And I do believe that a higher power was involved in their meeting and coming to know and love one another. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not boast or make a show of pride. Gwen and Michaela are patient. Gwen and Michaela are kind. Gwen and Michaela do not boast. They do not make a show of pride. Their love and devotion to one another is solid, secure, humble, and real. And in that way, I am so privileged to be here and to be able to bless their union. And now we will hear the vows that Gwen and Michaela have written. Right. Michaela, today I take you to be my best friend, my partner, my one true love. Yes, I need you, my fairy tale, because you are the only person I can talk with about the shade of a cloud, about the song of a thought and about how I went to work today and smiled. Outwardly, but cracked all the comments in my head. <laughs> I promise today to respect you, to respect your true nature, to speak and act with honesty and kindness, and to comfort you and celebrate with all that life has in store for us. 
I am thinking on, I am thinking how lucky I am to spend the rest of my life with you, with this beautiful and strong person. I pledge to make you try to laugh, make you try to laugh every day. I'm not going to succeed. So <laughs> you may not be a, a ray of sunshine every day, but you are my ray of sunshine. You're, you're my color to the black and white in my life. You are my highlight every day of my life. I love you. Amen. Dearest one of yours. I knew you'd do that. <laughs> Two years ago, if someone had told me that you and I were going to get married one day, I would have said they were off their rocker. We were good friends at the time, and each facing our own individual battles, a serious relationship was not in the cards for us. But God works in mysterious ways and always in their, on their own schedule. Both of us had experienced so much hurt in our past, we'd almost given up on ever settling down again. I can remember getting ready for our second first date at Chapitos, of course having no idea that that would be our spot from then on out. Something clicked with us that day, and we never looked back. I knew I was going to marry you after our first argument. I had never been in a relationship where conflicts were so easily resolved, and that's one thing that I love most about our relationship. We communicate so well with one another. You love me and complete me in ways that I never knew possible. <laughs> I love all of you. I love you for all of your quirks and your sisms, even the ones that drive me up the wall. <laughs> I love you for being my confidant and my protector. I love that you keep your sights set on the future. You make me laugh. You make me smile. You make me think. And most of all, you make me happy. And so today, surrounded by all of our loved ones, I choose you to be my wife. I promise to support you, inspire you, to love you always. Um, I promise to put our marriage first. I promise to care for you when you're sick, even when you're a big baby. <laughs> to accept mac and cheese for a meal and to keep our tradition of going for froyo after a bad day. I promise to let you hog the TV remote as long as I can <laughs> control the car radio. I will be your spell checker and grammar corrector. I will listen to you and learn from you. From this day forward, I will celebrate your successes and mourn your losses as my own. I will share with you my hopes and dreams. You got this. I vow to be your partner and your friend as we continue building our life together. These rings in their ever-ending circle are symbolic of your unending love, a love that perhaps knew no beginning because it was forever, and a love that will never have an end because it will always continue circling back and back around. I commit to be your wife. I commit to be your wife. And to welcome you as my wife. And to welcome you as my wife. In my heart. In my heart. In my soul. In my soul. And in my mind. And in my mind. With this ring. With this ring. I honor my commitment to you. I honor my commitment to and you. And I celebrate it for all the world to see. And I celebrate it for all the world to see. Michaela, please place Gwen's ring upon her finger. And repeat after me with this ring. With this ring. I commit to be your wife. I commit to be your wife. And to welcome you as my wife. And to welcome you as my wife. In my heart. In my heart. In my soul. In my soul. And in my mind. And in my mind. With this ring. With this ring. I honor my commitment to you. I honor my commitment to you. And, and I celebrate it for all the world to see. And I celebrate it for all the world to see. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay. Friends, this is a hand fasting ceremony, which is an ancient tradition that many, many schools of faith believe in. This is the hand of your best friend. Now it is young and strong and full of love for you on your wedding day. This is the hand that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years. And with the slightest touch, it will comfort you like no other hand. This is the hand that will hold you when fear or grief fills your heart. This is the hand that will countless times wipe away tears from your eyes, both tears of sorrow and we pray many, many, many tears of joy.
And lastly, this is the hand that even when it is wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same tenderness, the tenderness and love that you know today on your wedding day. Wait a Michaela, I now pronounce you wife and wife.